A dramatic road rage incident has been caught on camera, revealing a heated encounter between a truck driver and another motorist on a busy main road at Forestville. The passenger who filmed the drama has lodged a complaint, claiming the truckie could have put lives at risk. Ten tons of truck just centimetres away from this car and the driver behind the wheel is laughing. <laughs> this footage was filmed on Monday afternoon by Cameron Rose. His friend, Bo Honor, was driving. They claim they were menaced by this truck driver. We were going, going the speed limit about 80k and he came in front of us, no indication. And then we went back into his lane and then I, that's when I put my hand out the window like, you know, what are you doing? The truck then sped up beside them, the driver yelling at them out the window. And then moving in behind them, flashing his lights and blasting his horn. And he got about, I'd say about two centimetres from my back bumper bar. The incident started on Warringah Road at 10 past two in the afternoon as the vehicles were heading north over the Roseville Bridge. The tailgating, shouting and lane changing allegedly continuing for eight and a half kilometres before both drivers stopped for traffic lights at the intersection of Alambi Road. He also spat at me as well, which I unfortunately didn't catch on camera, but it was just disgusting behaviour, like I just couldn't believe it. The truck is also filmed tailgating this blue ute before swerving in front of the men's Subaru, no indicator on, they say it was an attempt to cut them off. The truck company involved, A. Carter and Sons, has seen excerpts of this footage and have spoken to the driver who was a contractor. It's understood he's told them he was provoked. This afternoon, the company issued a statement saying AC&S do not condone bad behaviour or dangerous driving and to date we have a clean record of any such incidents. We will be investigating this matter further. If you're going to drive a truck, drive it safely and if you're not going to drive it like that and terrorise people on the road, you don't deserve a licence. Laura Tunstall, Nine News.